I've left something behind. One of my planks. Beautiful and frosty Salt Lake City, Utah. Just landed looking for Kathleen. Really wishing I hadn't checked my coat in my luggage. Because holy crap, 22 degrees. Real frosty. Hello. Hi. This is Kathleen. This is Clayton's wife and a very good friend of mine. Uh, we are very excited because what I have not told y'all is that this trip is a surprise for Clayton. He has no idea. No idea. I've been keeping it a surprise for like, what feels like forever. And, and I don't keep it's, surprises. It's, yeah, it's hard for her. I do not keep it's surprises. I tell every <laughs> single time because I'm too excited. But I'm so proud of her because payoff is this close. I did it. So we're going to surprise him. He doesn't know. He has no idea. Uh, we should be at his house in a few minutes and hopefully we can show what happens next. Uh, did you know that Clayton's parents don't even know? They don't know either? No, because I knew if they knew that I would come out and accidentally say something. <laughs> Do your parents even know? My mother knows. That's okay. it. Okay. So it's it's a surprise for everybody. We're very excited. It's going to be great, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. So we just got to Clayton's house. Uh, Kathleen and the boys went in. Uh, I'm waiting a few minutes here. Uh, then I'm going to go ring the doorbell and surprise him. Here goes. All right, we're going to put this in the pocket. Hopefully you can see and you can hear. I knew it. How did you do that? Hey, buddy. Come here. What's happening? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I knew it. You did, did not. not. I totally you knew it. You did not. As much as you were texting me. No. And... I can't. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm you here in North Texas. Get, get out of here. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up, guys? So fun What's you. up? Hi. You guys hug? Because I never Tell get to me. see other six like foot surprise? three plus Tag? Men. Oh no. I'm Did in. Did you drive? No. She just picked me up at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> We've been scheming. I noticed. Without you. Okay, now I gotta go get the people. We should go skiing. We yeah. should go snowboarding yeah, together. We should and do I was that. like, that's a really good idea. Yeah. I wish Chase could be here. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Here I am. Yay. I thought you needed help with the transmission. Actually. You, you, you do. Yeah. Yeah, you still do. Wednesday, been here for almost 24 hours now. Uh, this is Clayton, this was the uh, surprise. Good he, morning. He claims that he knew. So I, hold on. You have to have full disclosure here. My wife is amazing. Amazing, she the, did so well. The fact that she would even offer to allow a friend to come up here during 
Christmas A break, Christmas busy, busy time. I should be spending time with my family. And we still will. We will. But the fact that we have hours together... Is just beyond amazing. But she totally gave me enough hints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. So she says, well, well, one of your presents is a little delayed. It won't be here until after Christmas Day. And I was like, okay. So are there like shipping issues? Did she not buy it in time? <laughs> was it a small package uh, or a big package? She says, it's a really big box. It's a big, big box. Yeah, not a box, but yeah. really big. Kind of big. <laughs> kind of large. So I kind of thought either my sister yeah. was coming into town or Chase. I thought somebody was coming. So now what we're doing is going up uh, through Little or Big Cottonwood Canyon? Little. This is Little Cottonwood Canyon on our way to Brighton Ski Resort. Uh, it's been a bit of a rough year for snow. Uh, the resorts we usually go to are Powder or Basin, but they're just, they haven't got enough snow this year because it is kind of early season. Uh, we're going to try Brighton, and hopefully they have uh, the snow that we need. So we're going up today, uh, just me and Clayton. Um, hopefully there will be not too much white lightning. No, no. No white lightning. No white lightning. No white lightning. Maybe, because maybe one. Maybe one we'll white see. lightning. <laughs> but it's going to be pretty uh -huh. gnar. Uh, we're going to be counting our gnar points. Uh, Clayton doesn't even know what gnar is yet. That'll what? Be, that'll be an explanation in the next few minutes. Star kill. Um, so we're gonna get some gnar points. We're gonna tell everybody that we're the best skiers on the mountain. Uh, on our snowboards. On our snowboards. <laughs> uh, we'll update y'all in a few minutes. We're three miles out. Three miles out. Almost there. See you soon. Woo! Hi. Just want to let you know I'm the best skier on the mountain. Thumbs up. <laughs> Acceptance. This might be a good game. This will work. <laughs> Come with me. Yeah. We've never made out on the ski lift. Never together. done it. Not a once. I'm gonna take the opportunity though. We're gonna Kathleen, get that done. This Sorry, weekend. Sorry, Christine. Do you gotta want? be some man action. Do you want me to do it? Since yeah, I mean I need somebody. Alright, yeah. I'll take one. So we're at the top of the mountain. Holy cow! It's pretty great. Look at this view. It's uh beautiful. I, I just fell off the lift though, <laughs> and so badly that they stopped the lift. They stopped the lift, Which and then they got mad at him. A 13-year-old came out and yelled at me like, to move. So, you know, it's still a 9 out of 10 good day. We're still up there. Yeah, we're still here. I haven't broken anything. I haven't broken anything, trying to get used to it. Uh, my bar Parts of my board are falling off, so that's unfortunate. Twice now. Twice now. Anyways, beautiful area, beautiful day, beautiful man. So here's a fun example of how different the uh, weather is up here in Utah versus what we're used to in Texas. Apparently it is 35 degrees and there's just snow everywhere. Um, but I am dang comfortable in just this little flannel. These kiddos hanging out in t-shirts. Just having a good old time. Because it just feels different up here. It's not, it's not a a wet or a windy cold, it's just dry. And honestly, I could probably be pretty comfortable in just a t-shirt right now as well. Just a totally different area. How cool is that? So Clayton, where in the world are we? Ace Hardware. Okay. But it's not just an Ace Hardware. Oh, there's more. It, well, it used to be owned by a couple of brothers, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of big. Yeah, It. Uh, hold on. The, it just seems like they have uh, everything here. We're at the front, and it goes back quite a ways. And they have all your normal stuff, you know, for the cold climate. They have, you know, uh, driveway clears and such. Normal, you know, Chinese tools. But then I think they have some firearms and camping gear, and it's almost like... Army surplus. Yeah, army surplus. It's like a surplus store and a yeah. hardware store and a feed store and a gun store. And electronics. And a repair, tool store. Plumbing. And it's all pretty... They have saddles. They have saddles, which is fantastic. So yeah. we're excited. We're going to see what happens. Hammer.
might be in my favorite section right now. Uh, I'll show you why. It's the zombie apocalypse section. Because that's a thing. In a real store. You got a red one. So it's Saturday morning. Uh, the family is off seeing Star Wars. Uh, since I'd already seen it, I decided to volunteer and take care of this little toot. And she's not feeling great. But she's been doing so well. We've been hanging out, playing Legos, uh, watching a little bit of Roadkill. Uh, she seems to like the music, but the cars confuse her. It's okay. She's still young. She'll get it. Um, but having a good time. And uh, glad I could help out the family so they can go do Star Wars without a two-year-old. Because I hear, I'm not sure, but I hear that it's tough to take a two-year-old to a two-and-a-half-hour movie. So this is a good Saturday morning. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Boo! So it's floored right now. Oh, that's good. So the issue we're having. <laughs> many, uh, many, many issues. One of many. The biggest issue. The biggest issue is that we're misfiring on many cylinders, but not consistently. Oh, oh hey, there's a gear. Downshift. There's first. That is a gear. Um, um, cylinder two and five. <laughs> <laughs> compounding the issue of having a misfire just on nearly every cylinder is the fact that we don't have second gear. So going up <sighs> this mountain, which is not a uh, shallow angle. I'd say it's fairly steep. Um, 15, 16. Yeah, something around 12 degrees. Um, so, so we don't have all of our cylinders, and we don't have second gear, which would be ideal right now. But I have supreme faith in the fact that it didn't just die. Insurance was definitely paid. That comes out on. That's good. Hazards exist that are not marked. I'd say. So, are they saying they would prefer us to hit the marked hazards? No. When you become one, you need to rediscover what matters in yourself.
left something behind. One of my planks. Sunday, uh, sitting here waiting to get on the plane. Worst news, my United flight was canceled. Uh, better news, they got me on a flight to, uh, got me on a flight with American. It goes direct home. Uh, had such a fantastic week with Clayton and his family, Kathleen, Zach, Matt, Rosalie, uh, and so nice to meet uh, Larry and Barb. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better surprise trip. Uh, really had a fantastic week. Maybe we'll be back here soon. Who knows what'll happen. See y'all later.